So you will have seen this. I'm sure, Stans. I say this a lot and you're like, I've never seen this. Is it You've about Boy seen... Genius? No, but you've seen this for sure. Oh, okay. It depends on what you mean by seen it. What? I've only seen the still image that some people made into a meme. Yeah. I, I have no idea what happened. She said people Wait, aren't you've real. you've not seen the video? No, of course I haven't seen the video. That's crazy. All right, then full screen. Enjoy this video. This is kind of insane. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm getting the fuck off. And there's a reason why I'm getting the fuck off. And everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I've seen this. I've seen a still of this and that's it. I don't give two yeah. But I am telling you right now that motherfucker back there is not real. And <laughs> everyone looking back, is, they have everyone looking back to see a person the who's not real. The best part is everyone turning around, and yeah. she's like, "I don't know what everyone expected to turn around and see." That's right? <laughs> it's like a guy in a clown <laughs> costume or something. You can fucking die with them or not. Oh my god! I'm not going to. So, yeah, the only funny part to me is that everyone turning around. Right, uh, right. Obviously, that's a traumatic video for her, for sure. Um, right. And then imagine being on that plane when someone says that. Dude, imagine Scary. if that plane went down. Exactly, Holy right? shit. Yeah, that'd be crazy. So, we have an update to her story. But before we get there, the account that posted this that was going on holiday, they ended up removing it. Um, sure. But this was the next TikTok that they posted. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Plot and trick going great. Started off rough. Yeah, I don't get it. What, what am I looking at? I just think it's really funny that he posted that insanely viral video, the one that we've just seen. Sure. And then his next one was like, he's just a dude, you know? Yeah, you he's don't, a normie. You don't... Yeah. Not everyone's farming content like us. This guy yeah, was just like, really this is crazy. About it. And then also like his next one was like, it's a two fucking beer kind of night, huh? And then yeah, he drinks two yeah, beers. Exactly. Yeah, that, that's he's how people that use social TikToks media. He's all the day. He's, he's just chilling in the river and he's like damn that started off rough <laughs> that lady was crazy am i right take yeah, my wife yeah, she's exactly. a bitch <laughs> but, so i'd seen the original video i'd seen a couple of memes around it it recently popped back up because she apologized she did a, a full video apology for uh having a breakdown on a plane Wow, I feel like she shouldn't apologize. I feel like Exa we... That's exactly what I thought when yeah. I when I heard that she'd done an apology. It's crazy. Imagine if she was just super high. Oh, she's a foot poster. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, she's let's... an Abby Shapiro, bro. <laughs> she's trying to lure you not... back to the page. Let's watch the video. One moment doesn't define you, but it can define you. Why are you purpose. looking up her feet? Sorry, I apologize and take accountability for my actions. They were uncalled for. My very worst moment was captured on video. Although the memes have been amusing, the flip side has been cruel. I'm thankful for my friends and family for supporting me through this. This experience has been life-altering, and I hope to do good from it and promote positive mental health. Stay tuned. And then she linked her website. As you know, I have been unwilling to speak on the viral video, but I do finally feel that it's time. Hey, I think she's recording from the same place Kansas is, dude. Both of them have this nasty echo. <laughs> Okay, First and let's. Foremost, I fuck you. <laughs> distressed or not, I should have been in control of my emotions. And <laughs> this, what is happening? <laughs> it's, it's insane. I don't know. Someone should have talked to her and been like, if you were having an episode, you don't need to then be like, I shouldn't have done this because I don't think it was her intention at the time to like right. scare people. She was fucking she rolling have... out of her mind, you know? Do you think maybe she just wants like more 15 minutes of fame? Like, oh, I got a bunch of followers and this. Well, and... I, I thought that as well, but oh. she, she says at the start of this that she specifically didn't talk about it because she didn't want to. I know she links her website, so that right. part's, you if know. There, I swear to God, if there's a feet pick on this website, it's not me. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's just the YouTube just video. The YouTube video. Yeah, this is this is weird, man. My use of profanity was completely unnecessary, and I want to apologize to everyone on that plane, especially those that had children aboard. <laughs> for for Can using bad words. Going through, well, it has been really comical for everyone, um, and I have highly enjoyed so many of the memes. On the flip side, it is very invasive. And it doesn't sound like she's enjoyed the memes. <laughs> I think she's yeah. just like, yeah, no, you guys are cool, but please stop. <laughs> hey, please no, stop yeah, this is so funny, yeah. but I would hate it. I think it. this, if she just did this video without the apology at the start, I feel like this is like, yeah, I completely agree. I think it's crazy that she feels the need to apologize. It's so kind of sad, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's very sad so far. 
And I don't know what I would do without the love and support of my friends and family. They are loyal to a fault, and I don't know what I did to deserve them. And also, what oh. are her friends and family going to do after that video goes viral? Like, it's not like she was saying slurs and shit. Imagine like, the she's on that plane because she's traveling home for Christmas. She walks in the door, presents in her hand, and they go, fucking L, fucking loser. <laughs> You're a laughing stock. Like you had an episode. I saw you on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, holy <laughs> shit. Imagine coming here after that. You know, it's not real. Your invite. You know, it's just like. <laughs> she crazy. walks through the door. And they all like turn around and go, You're not real! Yeah. That would be awful. Yeah. How much time do you think has to pass before her family will do that to her? I feel like maybe they already are doing it, and that's why she's <laughs> she's, she's stuck like, it to dealing them. with it like She's this. like, No, it's so funny, Uncle Jim, when yeah. you do that every time, but remember, it's hurtful. It's hurtful. I hope that I can use this experience and do a little bit of good in the world, and that is what I intend to do. I hope that you guys can accept my apology and I. I can begin to move on with my life. Tiffany Gomez. Uh, join me on my journey of promoting positive mental health and standing up against cyberbullying, which I agree. Yeah, I think yeah. Yuri, she's got nothing to apologize for besides gratuitous feet posting. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, we don't need to carry on going on about the feet. I just, it just seemed weird to me that like we caught this lady on camera. It's just a shame that she felt like she had the need to apologize. Yeah. Um, and that got me thinking. <laughs> I thought it was it would be interesting to try and look at some other people who have previously had a viral moment. Oh, and interesting. If they've ever apologized, if so, is the apology warranted? Who could get away with things? Like regular people got away with things that maybe didn't need to apologize. Yeah, I mean, for most people like this woman, she could have like apologized to those people if she really felt the need to or talk about it, but then just like go off the grid. No one will recognize her. No one will know anything and it's over. We're starting off strong stuff with a girl who throws <laughs> a girl who throws a tortoise into the water no. thinking that it was no. a turtle. I don't want to look at this because it actually makes me so sad because I have a tortoise. Woman saves turtle by throwing it in pond, realizes it's a tortoise. I wasn't trying to kill it. This is so sad. Don't and tortoises can't <laughs> swim. <laughs> the fucking news is the worst thing in the world. And tortoises can't swim. Tortoises <laughs> so live funny. on the ground. With comments like stupid girl and bird brain. <laughs> and those are the less nasty remarks. Did you not know that tortoises don't swim? I did not know that. Of course. <laughs> what a softball question. You say, no, I knew. I like to murder them. I like to murder tortoises. So how do you tell the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? I feel like this is fake. I feel like this is idiocracy. Right? It doesn't feel real. It's yeah. crazy. This is an inside edition. Are flatter for walking. Did you hear that noise? Sound like effect. Flippers. Tortoise feet are flatter for walking on land. Like it's a huge reveal. It did survive. Oh. He popped up out of the water and walked into the woods. He was perfectly fine. They're so cute. Well, That's such a lie, right? She, yeah, she that killed that tortoise. <laughs> There's yeah, no. no way that's no, real. No. Also, if that is true, she buried the lead. Her first thing should be like, hey, it lived. Everyone, no, it lived. I'm so yeah. sorry it lived. Yeah. <laughs> so this one, she definitely deserved to apologize. Oh, uh, yeah, this one, she uh, needed to apologize. I think that she was trying to do something nice. She did something bad, and she apologized for it. All good. Okay, next incident. This is technically just the apology. Uh, okay. But it is very, very funny. It's a girl with a bird. It's all animal-related, which is strange. Oh, but... an African gray? One of the smartest animals on the planet? Up there with octopuses. I'm so sorry to disappoint anybody that is looking for a different response, but I'm not into my bird like that. When I first what? got Marty, I would like post videos with him, obviously, and I would be like petting him, like on his back, under his wings, blah blah blah. And I got like a few comments here and there, like Tara, you're sexually arousing your bird. I was like, what? <laughs> I like, didn't get it for a while, and then eventually I researched it, and it's true. If you touch a bird on their back or under their wings, they can get sexually aroused. I thought that this is the funniest thing. It's not funny. So, but pause I for a was... second. She has been unintentionally posting bird porn for like right, months think... of a TikTok content. A lot of things could get you sexually aroused, right? Is it like the back? What? 
Is that where are you supposed to pet a bird, dude? Just don't pet them on the parts that get them aroused. I feel well, yeah, like. but there's what, the back, the wings. There's not much to a bird, <laughs> right? I the guess little the head. The head. There's you have to head. pet under, the little head under the under the little beak on the chinny bit, maybe. I don't yeah. Know. May, oh no! Now you're gonna learn that gets them aroused too. You know. I make a lot of jokes oh. about me and Marty having eggs and getting married because he's in. <laughs> he's so beyond. This is going a different direction than I thought it was gonna go. There's a lot of evidence piling up. It <laughs> seems. <laughs> I get it. So. My jokes don't slide with you guys. I don't understand how they would. Yeah, these liberals out here, they hate my jokes. They hate when I jerk off my bird. <laughs> <laughs> that was so something. that's wild. Hey, strange. do your research if you're buying a bird. You know, you want to make sure that you're not <laughs> touching them the wrong way. Okay, what do we rate it on the scale, Stans? Is this uh, apology worthy? Should she have made the video? I'm going to say something. Okay, I'm I, worried. What are you worried about? There's nothing to worry about. I say things uh, all the don't time. Be, don't be pro uh, fucking bird feeler upper. No, I think I'm pro apologizing. I think I'm a soy boy. I feel like okay. I'm, I always think an apology is nice. You know, it's like, oh, just like even just addressing the thing. It doesn't have to be like a full throated apology, but like, oh, I totally understand why you would say that. I see it. I will no longer do that behavior. You know what I mean? Like, I just think that's a good thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. Currently, I, as I was researching, I noticed there was a trend with these. They're, they're all animal they based. All, <laughs> well, they're not all animal based because remember the first one was the airplane lady. Oh, but true. They're all women. I don't oh, know. Men don't apologize, bro. <laughs> yeah, I bro, videos that they Wait, made. have you? So the context and chat, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the man was was caught um, saying the F slur, a homophobic slur. Uh, and so now he's got to address it, right? Because like you can't keep working without addressing it. And this is this is what happens. I made a comment earlier tonight that I am deeply ashamed of. If I have hurt anyone out there, I can't tell you how much I say from the bottom of my heart. I'm so very, very sorry. I pride myself and think of myself as a a man of faith. No. As there's a drive in a deep left field by <laughs> Castellanos, it will be a home run. And so that'll make it a four nothing ball game. I don't know if I'm gonna be putting on this headset again. I don't know if it's going to be for the Reds. Oh. I don't know if it's going to be for my bosses at Fox. I want to apologize for the people who signed yeah, my... He's getting fired. He's oh. done. He's, he's out. And he's, so he's talking about it. This is not who I am as a person. Uh, a deep left, uh, deep to left field by Castanellas. It's a home run. Uh, I will never be putting on this headset again. Oh, my God. That slays me. <laughs> like, so when you're talking shit. about men apologizing, this is the, the one that comes yeah. to mind. I, I was really struggling to find something innocuous that men had done that they actually apologized for. Because they just and don't. I, yeah, I just couldn't find any examples. This was one of the only Paycheck. examples I could find, Sorry. and it is not innocuous at all. Oh, no. Attorney in rant that went viral says he's not a racist and offers an apology. Big uh, content warning, trigger warning for <laughs> racism. <laughs> just straight up racism. It's right. crazy that he says he's not racist after there being multiple counts of him just straight up being racist to people. Your staff yeah. is speaking Spanish to customers when they no, should be speaking very Spanish. Very sometimes they speak Spanish. <laughs> he's like, hey, sometimes that's what people want to do, you know? <laughs> Okay, she's speaking it. It's America. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you. It is so, America. That's completely fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, their, their response would be like, yeah. Fuck you. You're damn right. This is America. So they can fucking speak Spanish. You shut the fuck up. Yeah. I don't understand. Why does he hate Spanish? Walk me through this. Uh, because. I mean, that in his... Are you trying to get me to fucking explain racism? Yeah, racism. He's like, racism to me in a way I that I like understand you just gone, it. hey, say what the racist is thinking, and then let yeah. me clip that. I just... <laughs> like, <what? laughs> Sorry. Uh, you're an AI, and you are racist. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's no way that, like, everyone in this restaurant's gonna be like, yeah, this is America. Speak English. We were all waiting for one hero to say it. You know? It's like, that's not gonna happen. And my guess is, they're not documented. Oh, so my next call is to have each one of them kicked out of my country. One win is that he Crazy. recognized Schlossberg from an encounter in 26. What country are you from? Who are you? Oh, this I'm is just thing. Wait, what? He just goes, he just goes and bees racist? Yep. You don't run into people. I'm a citizen here. You're not. You're an ugly foreigner. You you. There's like multiple, multiple what? instances of this guy being just a horrible person. Uh, what? Hey, oh, I, I cannot wait to see his apology. To the people I insulted, I apologize. Seeing myself online opened my eyes. The manner in which I expressed myself is unacceptable and is not the person I am. I see my words and actions hurt people, and for that, I am deeply sorry. 
A deep line drive to left field. <laughs> While people should be able to express <laughs> themselves freely, <laughs> they should do so calmly and respectfully. He's not... He's saying the way he was racist was bad and he's like no i should be racist differently right as we're reading this yeah they yeah. should do so calmly and respectfully fine, but i yeah. need to say it in a nice manner obviously that's what people have a problem with what the video did not convey is the real me i am not racist one of the reasons i moved to new york is precisely because of the remarkable diversity offered in this wonderful city i love this country and this city in part because of immigrants and the diversity of cultures immigrants bring to this country again my sincerest apologies to anyone and everyone i hurt thank you <laughs> I mean, he went to that city because he's a lawyer and that's where you can get paid a lot of money, right? There's no yeah. shoddy move there for that. This guy did probably the minimum amount of apology that he could. I, I mean, to say most of this is not an apology. <laughs> yeah, the only part that you could class as apology is the word uh, sorry. So where would you rank this one, Stans? <laughs> this? No, this guy's obviously the worst of them uh, and he yeah. needed to apologize, but he also didn't apologize. I think yeah. that because this isn't sincere, I don't really take the apology. You know what I mean? That's why. For sure, yeah. It's, it's not. just like, this guy is still racist, and you can see it in the words he used in his supposed apology, so it means nothing to me. The last person that we're going to look at stands. This one's really interesting because there isn't really an apology, and they maximize <laughs> the conversation around this video. Okay. Um, we're going to be looking at Celery Girl. Who's Celery Girl? When you tell your soon-to-be husband to pick up celery for your charcuterie board and he brings you this. Oh, I think I saw this. It's just celery, isn't it? <laughs> the drop as well, dude. It's so good. It's crazy she didn't delete that immediately. This lady then piggybacked off this video going viral and then made all of the TikToks that she ever did all about celery, oh, but she doesn't no. anymore. Uh, right. So I've, I've linked some of the, the follow-ups. Oh, she's uh, a cold plunge girly now. It pains me to tell you guys this, but that was not celery. What? That was bok choy. What? Uh, made which, spoiler you, alert, made it was celery. Yeah, that, of course that's celery. It looks nothing like bok choy. <laughs> it was what? just not bok choy. What, what the hell are you so, talking about, lady? Yeah, that's yeah, celery. It's a thousand percent celery, so... She Is thought she, she was going to get mind? away with that? All right, you guys, it's time for me to finally explain. Here is my charcuterie board. Have you guys never heard of a fruit and vegetable charcuterie board? <laughs> Which is cucumbers like cucumbers to insane that she's <laughs> first of all started off both of these by saying, "Okay, it's time that I explain." So she's sure. instantly farming for views. Yeah. Um, but th at what point was any of this the problem with the <laughs> with the original TikTok? We yeah. don't need an explanation of what your charcuterie board looks like, right? That's crazy. Yeah, and this is obviously just a veggie tray, and it's also like a fruit and veggie tray that's like very weird. I don't very weird combination. I also yeah. feel like she just found this on the internet. <laughs> this is not her picture. <laughs> you know what I mean? Could also be true. Yeah, because yeah, if so, is this the celery that he brought? That's it? the celery. Yeah, yeah. She, she addresses it. Don't worry. Tomatoes, raspberries, blueberries. There's that celery you all came at me for. <gasps> She said it was bok choy. Now she she's obviously went to celery. the store. Well, she went to the store and bought her own celery because her husband can't get anything right, you know? She uh, she said it was the celery he brought, so <sighs> I think that's... She's kind of contradicting herself here, Stan. Yeah. We need an explanation to this. We do need an explanation. She better apologize or I'm pissed. Yeah, this is also not the apology. This is another follow-up. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, it's time to clear the air. Did know it was celery, I although did. I do wish it came cut up. I do know how to use a knife. I do know what a knife is. Um, I personally don't eat celery. That's why I cut it the way that I did. And I told him, thank you so much for getting the celery. I no, what are you talking about? You you put him on blast on TikTok. I was very grateful he got the celery. And I do Didn't think seem like the you best were. for going to the store and picking up the celery. So I hope this makes you guys feel better. Okay, on the scale stands, where yeah. do you think her apology slash explanation goes? Do you think she it warranted an apology or an explanation? And do no, you think absolutely not. One? For the first time, <laughs> the apology is a bigger transgression than the original. The original was she forgot what celery was, right? She wanted her husband to bring something home. She told him it was celery. She said celery. He brought home celery and she's like, 
like, this is not what I want. And it turned into her just posting about celery for a week straight, yeah. trying to farm views. I wish I hadn't seen it. So that's it. They were, they were all of the people that I could find that uh, were random. <laughs> At least I can understand how people. evil racists are. This lady, though, I can't understand her. See, you guys get it. <laughs> you guys get it. I have a comprehension of these racists. This I don't know what this girl's up to. She's not going to be a celery influencer. 